Hey everyone, Beth Tuttle here. Today I'm going to talk about how our beliefs, our thoughts, our emotions, traumas, experiences, all can impact our skin. Think about our skin. It's the biggest organ in our body. It protects us. It's waterproof. It's self-healing. It's sensitive to touch. And we really take it for granted when we, unless we're experiencing something where it's like eczema, psoriasis, uh, rash, hives, then we, we pay attention. Like I say, our body's always talking to us. It's always sending us signals. So if you're someone who suffers with any kind of skin issue, what I want you to do is just tune in to that part of your skin. If you say, well, it's on my whole body, maybe it's someone with psoriasis or eczema, pick a part, maybe it's on a leg, an arm, your face, wherever, that is really irritating you or it's um, itchy, hot, red, whatever that is. And just close your eyes a minute, take a breath, focus in on that part of your skin and how does it feel? Is it cracked? Is it sore? Dry? Itchy? Irritated? Oozing? What does it feel like? And then after you've described that in your head, then think about if there was an emotion behind it. Or maybe just what emotion are you feeling when you think about your skin? Is it frustrated? Angry? Irritated? Self-criticism? Do you feel unprotected? Tune into what those feelings are. And then maybe ask yourself some questions like, who's getting under my skin right now? What's irritating me? What's festering inside of me? Is it hard for me to set boundaries? Do I not feel like I'm protected or taken care of right now? What's festering inside that I need to let go of? So taking the time and setting the intention to just tune in to your skin and that part of your skin and describe it, how it feels, what emotions are behind it, and then start asking questions too. If it's frustrated, irritated, angry, what am I angry with right now? What am I frustrated with right now? What's festering inside me? What can't I let go of? And these are clues. Your skin is giving you clues as to what you are hanging on to, what you need to move through your body. Remember when we stress out, when we're anxious, then our digestive system sits down. We let off that stress response so our digestion doesn't need to work. It impacts and breaks down our immune system. Our blood starts pumping faster. Our stress hormones are released. Our muscles tighten. All of these things impact our skin and the health of our skin. And then when you add in emotions, traumas, beliefs, all of these things that we have not dealt with, those are just going to intensify or keep that skin issue going. So what I want you to do is, now that you've kind of targeted how it feels, what emotions might be behind it, maybe even what story, situation, or trauma could be irritating it, festering it, whatever it looks like. Close your eyes and just picture a color that's coming in through the crown of your head. Whatever color seems soothing to you. For me, if it was my skin was hot, irritated red, I might think of blue, like cooling off with blue. And just picture that blue color coming in through your crown of your head, washing through your whole body, starting from your head, working this way down his neck and your chest and arms, all the way down your feet. If there's a particular part in your body, maybe it's your arm, your leg, your hand, wherever that skin issue is, picture that really that area being engulfed with that color, with that light and just feeling or picturing that healing that. You could even picture internally your cells you could it doesn't you can't visualize wrong people visualize their cells as little maybe superheroes or they picture them cleaning up their cells or maybe rubbing some kind of solution or um water or having a little hose to 
break down or clear up that redness, that heat that's in your body. Any kind of visualization like that or color, your mind can't dif differentiate what is true, what's real, what's not. So by you visualizing it and really feeling it, those things can help heal, relieve those symptoms you might be feeling with your skin. So really today's video, I just wanted to get you thinking about your skin issue, how it feels, what emotions are behind it, and what it might be linked to. And I would encourage you through this week, this month, to journal, to start journaling. When your skin is really flared, what's been going on? Um, did you get in any argument? What are you stressed about? What have you been thinking about, anxious about? And start journaling and paying attention, and it's going to give you clues as to what you need to let go of or move through for your skin to heal. Now, in the next coming videos, I'm going to do a tapping video to show you how you can use tapping to do it, and I will share some acupressure points with you. So I hope you found this helpful and that you guys really, if you are suffering with any skin issue, you take the time and set the intention to journal and figure out what's really behind it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.